So I finally had a chance to um, like do this on Mobius again. Hopefully the audio is working. And I discussed this in the other video regarding how to input these um, on MySpace, uh, my, what is it called? Brightspace, <laughs> showing my age. So um, I said the same thing before. You see like here, X plus 11 over Y. If I were to write this in the proper notation, it would look like this. But I noticed that some don't, you know, their ultimate goal is not to represent it this way, is to represent it with the X plus 11 over Y in the uh, X plus 11 in the numerator and Y in the denominator. So you'd have to put the X plus, um, plus 11 in parentheses and then divide it by Y. Um, I want you, you know, I suggest you get used to using the stuff here. Um, if I click this A to the B, you'll see that I have union, I have a fraction, I have exponents, I have square roots, I have absolute value, I have in, you know, um, other types of roots with, I could change the index. Somebody asked me how I do, you know, something like that. So if I click on that, I can scroll here with my arrows or my mouse, and I could change that to a three, and I could change this to, for example, let's say I want um, an X, and I'm using my arrows to go left and right, x squared. And then um, I can also do y to the third or y to the second. Um, there's a symbol on your on your uh, computer, which is above the number six. And it's like this arrow pointing up. If you want to use that, that basically gives you exponents faster than going through this process here by clicking on this and, and, and going here. So if I wanted to write, um, let's just say like X raised to some exponent X, and then I would press shift six and it would raise it. It would do that arrow for me, um, X squared. I could do it that way. Or, and that's just keyboard tricks. I can click on this and I could do this one for exponents go over to the A, change it to an X, scroll over to the B, change it to a two. So whatever you, you know, whatever you like. Um, I have infinity here, so I can use that for my interval notation. And it's really important that you go in order from left to right. So if I want, let's say negative infinity to four and then parentheses, and then I wanna add to that. So I saw union here which is my symbol to add another interval from, let's just say four to positive infinity, close parentheses. This is basically saying all real numbers except for four. If you remember with interval notation, parentheses is not inclusive of the number and then brackets would be inclusive of the number. So if I were to write, um, oops, a bracket, negative two, let's say to positive infinity, this is saying everything greater than or equal to negative two in interval notation. You have to get used to that. Um, let's say I wanna do the quadratic formula, for example, X is equal to, I want a fraction. So I go here and I could use the fraction tool. And on top, I want the opposite of V. And I don't think here, I looked for it before, I didn't see a plus or minus symbol, which is unfortunate. You have a bunch of Greek letters, I didn't see a plus or minus symbol. So, but that would mean is that you would have to do two different scenarios. So I would have to do um, X equals the opposite of B, let's say plus the square root of B to the second power. Make sure that we press arrow to come back down because if I continue here, I don't want the minus four AC in the exponent. I want it back down all over two A. Um, remember that. There are two cases. I'm not gonna type both of them. I might have to do this separately this way, the opposite of B and then minus the square root. I'm not gonna type it all out, but you know, I don't see the plus or minus um, aspect here, which means that you might have to do it two different ways like that. You also have this, how did I do? Um, and they have suggestions as to like how to do this faster. You know, play, play with it. You have to play with it to get used to it. So. Um, these are your keys. Go here and look for what you need. Um, you'll be using this later for trigonometric functions and inverse trigonometric functions, which is a good time. But <laughs> right now, um, you don't use many Greek symbols, maybe pi. But you see how this can make your work really nice and really organized. Um, one more thing is if I go into this, 
you want to be really careful that you don't type too long to the right. You want to kind of like, uh, I've seen some people, I've seen the, like they're writing it out and horizontally it's going so long that um, it's, it goes off the page. So I can't see their work. So you have to be careful that you're not um, in it too long as well, if that makes sense. So play around with it, get, get used to it. And then um, it should be a little bit easier and it'll make your life easier too when you're showing your work. 